2022 has been a challenging year. On the news and sometimes outside our front doors, we've seen that the climate and nature crisis isn't a future far away threat. It's here and now. But there is still hope. We can bring our world back to life. WWF has been working with governments, businesses and communities in the UK and overseas to drive action to protect and restore our natural world. And this year, wild tiger numbers in Nepal came roaring back, nearly tripling from estimates of 121 in 2009 to 355 of the iconic big cats today. In the Amazon, indigenous communities requested and mastered more skills in using drones and other monitoring technologies, helping them in their efforts to protect their forest homes against deforestation and land grabbing. In an area of Brazil that has seen intensifying conflict between people and jaguars, no more jaguar killings have been reported by residents who came together earlier this year to learn solutions for living in harmony with the predators. In Kenya, 700 hectares of degraded land was restored through reforestry work supported by community volunteers, bringing lost forests back from the brink. More than 11,000 walrus detectives searched almost 2 million satellite images to help scientists better understand how climate change is impacting these marine mammals in the Arctic, the fastest warming place on the planet. And in the UK, our projects have seen nearly 40 hectares of wildflower meadows created, while over 200 hectares of land had been put in restoration and almost 66,000 native trees planted in North Yorkshire. There's so much more to be done. We're in a race to bring our world back to life. With your support, it's a race we can still win.